Hello, my name is Cormac Allen. I am Assistant Head of School at the TU Dublin School of Architecture and I manage the TU831 BSC ONS Architectural Technology Programme. I work alongside Kirk McCormick, who is the Programme Chair. This is the first in a series of recorded presentations which have been assembled to help you understand the nature of the Architectural Technology Programme and Discipline as you make your choices in the CAO application process. It's important to say at the outset that architectural technology is very different to architecture and should not be seen simply as a route into architecture. It's a very technical programme and may not appeal to applicants who are attracted by the creative side of architecture. In saying this, I am concerned to ensure that if you choose architectural technology, you do so with full knowledge of the difference between the programmes and disciplines and with certainty that this is the programme for you. So you need to research and inform yourself. To help you in this, I have recorded a series of short presentations. The first presentation introduces the programme and shows you where you can find information. The second explains the career of the architectural technologist in the context of the journey towards a carbon neutral society in 2050. The third introduces graduates of the programme, many of whom have gone on to postgraduate studies in areas of architectural technology specialism. And the final presentations take you through samples of work from each of the four years of the programme. These are all set up as architectural technology playlist on the TU Dublin School of Architectural YouTube channel, which can be accessed on the home page of our website. So, to tell you about the programme, the Architectural Technology Programme Code is TU831. It's a four-year honours degree programme and sits at level eight on the National Framework of Qualifications. We admit 50 students each year. The programme is based in the Linen Hall building on the Bolton Street campus, just five minutes walk from the main TU Dublin campus in Grange Gorman. In terms of entry requirements, you will need six subjects in the Leaving Certificate, two of which need to be at H5. You will also need to have a minimum of H4 in one of five applied subjects. These are Art, Construction Studies, DCG, Engineering and Technology. CAO points vary from year to year. Points rose to 423 in 2021, but they were 388 in 2019. We also admit a number of students through the QQI route. These are typically students who do not get the required points in the Leaving Certificate, but then complete a Level 5 course related to architectural technology. This is a great alternative route to admission to the programme and these students tend to do well because they have already shown a commitment to architectural technology and know that a technical career will suit them. We also admit mature applicants and hold interviews in June each year. We really value mature students and generally admit those who have demonstrated that they understand the nature of the programme and are committed to the workload involved. Minimum entry requirements do not apply to mature students who are admitted in CAO round zero. I'd like to tell you about some features of the programme. The programme is the first and oldest architectural technology programme in Ireland. Our graduates have an international reputation for their technical excellence, work ethic and ability to embrace new technologies. Our studio-based learning environment is designed to enable our students to develop the skills necessary for working in architectural design practices. We have integrated work placement in year three of the programme. The academic team work closely with a range of architectural practices and construction companies and ensure that all students are assigned to suitable placement for the duration of the second semester. We ask all placement companies to commit to paying students at least the minimum wage for the duration of their placement. Students really enjoy this part of the programme and many secure jobs in their placement companies. Students also benefit from industry sponsored bursaries such as the annual Mont Cavanagh Awards and the Moy Materials Architectural Technology Scholarship. Our students also do well in competitions. 
For example, we are regular winners in the annual RAI Rising Star Student Award and have also won the World Skills Gold Medal for BIM. You can find out more about these on the TU Dublin School of Architecture website. The programme is professionally accredited by two professional bodies. These are the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists and the Royal Institute of the Architects of Ireland. As the discipline of architectural technology responds to technological developments, TU Dublin has developed new pro postgraduate programmes in areas of professional specialism, which are open to graduates of the architectural technology programme. These include the MSc in Applied Building Information Modelling and Management and the MSc in Building Performance in Energy Efficiency Design. These programmes are producing, quite genuinely, technological leaders for the 21st century. If there's a single piece of advice I can offer, it's to spend time researching the career and programme. To support you in this, we have uploaded lots of useful information on the TU Dublin website, including samples of student work, graduate profiles and student experience videos. I'd like to show you where you can find this information. First, go to the home page of the TU Dublin website. Go to the top right navigation and click on study and then down to undergraduate. You can enter TU831 into the search function or use the filter. That will take you to the TU831 Architectural Technology Programme webpage. As you can see, it provides drop down information on minimum entry requirements, what is architectural technology, career opportunities, the module listing, some quotes from our students and information on progression opportunities. Under what is architectural technology, we have uploaded a series of very short student videos on our School of Architecture YouTube account. These have been gathered together as playlists so you can view these in sequence. We will change and up the, update these as we go along. The video by fourth year student Jamie Leonard is particularly informative about the nature of the programme and it's well worth a look. Under what are my career opportunities? We have uploaded another series of videos as a YouTube playlist. These include this presentation, together with videos on the career of the architectural technologist, profiles of graduates of the programme and samples of work from each of the four years of the programme. Each video is around 10 minutes long. I would strongly recommend that you make time to view these. You can access further information on the new TU Dublin Architecture website, which can be accessed through the TU Dublin homepage or by Googling TU Dublin Architecture. Go to Explore and then down to Schools and Disciplines. Click on Architecture and Built Environment to access the TU Dublin Architecture website homepage. Our homepage includes links to key information, including study, entry processes and student work. All of these contain information which is relevant to CAO applicants. The student work page is especially valuable. You can view samples of work from all years of the TU831 Architectural Technology Programme as well as work from the other programmes in the school. It's worth comparing the work of architectural technology with the work of architecture. Ask yourself which of these appeals to you. Which do you think looks interesting to you? Are you attracted by the very technical focus of architectural technology? Or are you attracted by the more creative design focused work of the architecture students? Take time to think about this before making your choice. The architectural technology student work section includes a short video on Empirical, our final year research journal. In this, our programme chair, Kirk McCormick, explains the research focus of the final year of the programme and gives a sense for the skills developed over the four years. We have also included PDF copies of student work from all years of the programme. These give you a very good sense for how skills are developed incrementally over the years, culminating in the final year research thesis and dissertation. Going back to the home page, we have included links uh, to our social media platforms, which include Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Just click on the boxes to access these. 
This is our Facebook account, which includes lots more information about the school, including lots of images of student work. This is our Instagram account. We'd be very pleased if you would follow us on this. And this is our Twitter account, which is the most active of our social media platforms. And this is our TU Dublin Architecture YouTube channel. This contains all the videos I referred to earlier, including the various playlists. Feel free to dip in and dip out of this. Uh, we're always adding new material. And again, going back to the home page, we have a news feed which is regularly updated with new and interesting events. We use our Twitter account to bring followers to each new news event. So you might like to follow us on Twitter to receive these notifications. So that covers everything. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you found this brief overview of the Architectural Technology Programme useful. I wish you all the best in your leaving certificate and to seeing some of you in September 2022.